couple of people have asked me how I do my layered jelly prints. They're, they are, you, I use a jelly plate and I have a piece of rubber here which helps to cushion the print and paper, usually just scrap paper, paint, acrylic paints and my brayers close at hand. I usually use paper that's gone through the printer and has no use anymore so that um, I'm not wasting paper. Here I'm starting the first layer. I use two different colours of paint usually just because I like the texture and because if I was one of the backgrounds that was all one colour I would just paint it. Here I'm brayering out the paint. I've got quite a bit of paint on there then I um, clean off on the scrap paper. This spray has tons of paint on it so you'll see that I actually get another piece of paper and spray her off on that. The first print's pretty straightforward. I put down my paper on the rubber and as I pick up the plate you can see that it's mounted on a piece of perspex. The jelly plate just sticks to the perspex, that's something I learned from um, Jelly Arts videos. Then I can, then the, the paper sticks and I can turn it over and uh, brayer the paint on. Usually my first print I don't actually brayer this heavily and it leaves more paint on for a second print. So there's the first background print and you can see here that I'm just going to do a second one with the leftover paint and there's not much left over because I brayed the first time. Usually I just rub with my hands. But for the second print I really need to bray it to get rid of all the paint. You can see that this is just scrap paper from the printer. And there we go for the second print. Next I'm going to show you how I make my stencils. I tend not to use commercial stencils much just because it's not it's not mine. I tend to just make my own stencils and masks and of course if you make it yourself then um, it's yours. I usually use paper and I keep the paper later on to use as collage pieces because it gets nice and covered in paint. So here I've got a mask and a stencil. The first thing I'm going to do is use a mask on the background that we did before. Again, I'm putting um, two colours of paint on, a green and a yellow. Because this is actually, because I'm using the mask, this is actually the, going to be the background and the orange of the first layer is going to be the flower. So that's why I've chosen green. Clean off my brayer. don't really need to push it down because as long as it's adhered when you turn it over it, when you put the paper onto it it will get pressed. So there's my background. Pick up the jelly plate and I can line it up so that this print actually overprints the print before. Giving it a bit of a roll. get nice clean edges with this technique as long as you don't have too much paint because if you have too much paint um, the piece of paper will slide and create um, blurs. There's my second print from the first round and you see there's not much left on the plate but I will get a sort of a grungy print and because I embellish my prints 
It doesn't matter if it's grungy because I can fix it. Keeping it a bit of a greyer and excuse my messy hair. And there's the second print. As you can see the contrast is not very high on this one but there's a lot that I can do to make that look really good. Taking off the mask and I'm usually very careful because I try to use them more than once but you'll see that it has, I need to put it away but then I put it out here to show you, is that it has lots of beautiful colour on it so it can be used later as a collage element when it's dry. Here I am I'm going to use the stencil and again two colours of paint and since this is a stencil that means I'm putting actually the flower on the page so I'm using pink it's actually magenta and white now as you can see the white paint is much more heavy bodied than the um, magenta and it doesn't mix as well however I like that grungy way that it does that too much paint on as usual so you can see here that I'm going back to the plate taking some off just because there's too much and I don't see that as wastage because the um, roller off papers I used as, and you can see there that I just mixed the paint to make sure that it was a bit a bit more mixed together and brains are off again okay now I'm putting on the mask or the stencil sorry and I just touch it down in a few places then get my background piece and this time I'm not lining it up because I can put that flower anywhere I want um, because I'm only printing the flower and not the background so I'm putting it a bit lower you can see there I check give it a press especially when you're only doing a, when you're doing a stencil like this because sometimes the paper can peel off as you turn it over okay giving it a bit of a brayer this would give it a really um, contrast contrasty print there's still paint on the on the plate so what I will do is put that print away and get the other background and print what I can onto it with the second print you can usually see where you're printing because the paint is a little bit more transparent and again the contrast isn't high but I can make that into something then I take the mask off and I'm usually careful because I want to use it again however using it again make sure that it's totally dry before you use it again there's still a little bit of paint on there so I um, just get a piece of scrap paper and try and get rid of that I'm not particularly careful about keeping my plate clean because I like some of the stuff that you get when the plate isn't clean. Here I'm just using another piece of paper to try and get rid of a little bit more. It's a big blob of white here because the white was heavy body and it didn't spread as well. And there's still white there that I can wipe down. Next we're going to use the stencil a second time. Now I have dried this stencil in between, made sure that it was dry. This time I'm going to use a, a pale green and a bit of yellow. It's an opaque green and that's important when you're um, doing stencil prints on top of colour. I add the yellow to just make it a little bit more interesting. As you can see I'm not covering the whole plate because the stencil doesn't um, need paint everywhere. I'm just covering up where, uh, where the, um, the flower 
could be. Another thing to take into account is the way I put the stencil down the second time because it's a paper stencil. I put it down paint side down. There is the risk if you put the paint side up that it might stick to your print when you print on it. Here again I'm not lining up, I'm just putting it where I want it to go and holding the print as I roll it over so that it doesn't move. You can see that Part of the flower is off the edge, I just pointed to it, if my head's in the way, but um, I wanted it to go off the edge. I'm just giving it a bit of a brayer. And lifting it up. So there's the print. And if you're observant, you would notice that this is not the print I started this video with. So another person asked me about I'm leaving paper on the plate till it's dry and I learnt from Carla Sondheim that this is a great way to clean the plate. So my plate was pretty grungy you saw there. I'm putting some not much paint and a quite thin paint and I'm going to brayer it out all over the, the dried muck on my plate. totally unorganised as usual and just putting that paper on top now if you put too much paint on when you're doing this sometimes the paper will buckle and it won't where it buckles it won't take the um, paint off you have to leave that to dry after you've made sure that it's totally stuck So here it is, totally dry, and watch the miracle. All of that grunge, except actually one little spot, but that's not important, um, just comes off onto the paper and it makes the most gorgeous collage papers. You can see that the plate is coming up off the perspex, but it will just fall back again and stick. It's just um, something about the jelly plate that does that. See that beautiful grungy paper? So to cap off, here are the prints that I finished. This one, obviously four layers. There are some collage pieces that I can use, another print. And here I've collaged some pieces into my journal. Some more prints that I've done. These ones with leaves. And a couple more flower prints. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope it explains 